After all the colleagues had left the office, Chen Yao wanted to stay and work overtime. Qian Hung sent her a message, apologizing and inviting her to a reunion. Chen Yao then accompanied Qian Hung to the gathering. After meeting a few old classmates, Qian Hung announced that Chen Yao was his girlfriend. However, he added that both of them were currently focused on their careers and had no plans to get married. Chen Yao asked Qian Hung why he hadn't discussed it with her beforehand. Qian Hung thought she was referring to the marriage issue, but Chen Yao corrected him, saying she meant the decision to publicly announce their relationship, or rather, every decision. She expressed that what she wanted was respect and understanding, she didn't want to be treated as Qian Hung's accessory. Qian Hung tried to explain further, but Chen Yao wasn't willing to listen. Qian Hung was very confused. He had happily announced their relationship, which he thought was a good thing. He didn't understand why it made Chen Yao feel disrespected. Wu Jun suggested that Qian Hung think carefully about what Chen Yao truly wanted. Chen Yao confided her feelings to Cheng Shi, who advised her to reflect on her own heart. If she still wanted to be with Qian Hung, she should work hard to improve herself, so that she could earn the respect she deserved. Qian Hung was very upset because he couldn't get Chen Yao's understanding, and he ended up reprimanding Bao Rui. Bao Rui cried to Yu Fei, saying, I've revised this document 17 times already, and the boss still wants me to change it. What else am I supposed to change? Yu Fei replied, Change your fate. Tang Ying commented, Chen Yao and Gu Biking have won several cases in a row, and people at Jin Cheng are gossiping about whether Chen Yao is making Qian Hung look bad. How could he be in a good mood? Let's all bear with it for now. Chen Yao and Gu Biking walked out of the courtroom. Gu Biking said, I didn't expect us to actually win this case. It looks like my luck is improving. Chen Yao replied, We won because we conducted a thorough investigation and presented strong evidence. Just then, they overheard someone gossiping about Chen Yao, saying that she dumped Qian Hung right after she started her career, and now Qian Hung was constantly on the brink of despair. Gu Biking wanted to step forward and explain, but Chen Yao stopped him, saying, There's no need. Rumors will die out on their own. The more we explain, the worse it gets. Jinchen's law firm took on a new case. Li Chengxian informed Cheng Yao about the client, Chen Linlei, who, along with her husband, had founded Kelly Company from scratch. A few months ago, while the family was on vacation abroad, they took a hot air balloon ride that went awry, causing the balloon to crash. Her husband and son didn't survive, while Chen Linlei was diagnosed with a mild concussion but had no life-threatening injuries. Upon returning to China, Chen Linla began dealing with her husband's estate. Her mother-in-law, Huang Ran, demanded an equal share of Kelly Company's equity. However, Chen Linla insisted on retaining the shares and offered to exchange Huang Ran's shares for properties, cash, or other assets of equivalent value. Chen Linla lost the first trial and specified that she wanted Cheng Yao to represent her in the appeal. However, Huang Ran's lawyer was Qian Hung. Li Chengxian told Cheng Yao that whether or not to take the case was entirely up to her, and he wouldn't force her either way. Cheng Yao felt that since the client had specifically chosen her, she shouldn't refuse, so she decided to take the case. Cheng Yao arranged to meet with Chen Linli. After they met, Chen Linli expressed that her mother-in-law, Huang Ran, had hired Qian Hung as her attorney. In the legal industry, almost no one could defeat Qian Hung and the only person who could make Qian Hung hesitant was his girlfriend, Cheng Yao. Cheng Yao finally understood Chen Linla's intention. She stated that she would not let her personal feelings interfere with her work. She agreed to take on the case, but she emphasized that she would not use her identity as Qian Hung's girlfriend to influence him. She would handle the case solely based on her professional abilities. Cheng Yao added that if Chen Linla was disappointed by this, she could find another lawyer. Chen Linli responded that through their conversation, she had already seen Cheng Yao's excellent qualities as a lawyer and was convinced that Cheng Yao was the best choice for her. When Qian Hung found out that Cheng Yao would be his opponent, he advised her to withdraw voluntarily because, in court, he would be loyal only to the law and wouldn't show any personal consideration. Cheng Yao reassured him, saying he didn't need to worry, 
as she would strictly follow professional procedures and wouldn't let her presence affect him. Qian Hung responded, but you already affect me. Knowing you're my opposing counsel, how could I not be influenced? Cheng Yao replied, then it will be a challenge for you to overcome. Qian Hung said, I can give in to you in everything else, but I won't go easy on you in court. Cheng Yao answered, that's exactly what I hope for. I want you to bring your best skills so that, regardless of the outcome, I will feel a sense of achievement. In the evening, Qian Hung bought flowers and drove to the apartment building. Just as he was about to go up to see Cheng Yao, Bao Rui called him and asked, Chen Linla's lawyer is Cheng Yao. Should we drop Huang Ran's case? Qian Hung asked in return, why should we drop it? Bao Rui replied, Cheng Yao is your girlfriend. Of course, you should go easy on her. Qian Hung turned back, got into his car, and drove away. Cheng Yao prepared dinner and waited for Qian Hung, but he didn't come back. She wondered to herself if she had been too hard on him, considering they were a couple in love after all. Cheng Yao, feeling down, went to Li Mengting's home to confide in her. Li Mengting advised her to cherish her relationship with Qian Hung. Suddenly, Cheng Yao received a call from Gu Biking, informing her that Chen Linle had just attempted suicide. Cheng Yao hurriedly rushed to the hospital. Cheng Yao rushed to the hospital and found Chen Linle. Chen Linle explained that it was her husband's birthday, and out of habit, she had ordered a cake, only to realize that her husband would never eat it. Overwhelmed by a sense of loss, she had acted impulsively and made a mistake. Seeing Chen Linle's deep love and commitment to her husband, Cheng Yao couldn't help but ask why she was unwilling to give Huang Ran a share of the company's equity. Chen Linli explained that Kelly Company was painstakingly built by her and her husband. Now that her husband was gone, the company was the only thing that gave her a sense of connection to him. Her mother-in-law, Huang Ran, didn't understand how to run the business and might be influenced by other shareholders to inflate the stock price, sell the shares, and cash out which would destroy the company that she and her husband worked so hard to build. This was why she insisted on not dividing the equity to protect the company. Cheng Yao reassured her, saying, Don't worry. I will do my best. Cheng Yao began to interview the other tourists who had been on the hot air balloon ride with Chen Linla's family. Several people confirmed that all three members of Chen Linla's family were injured during the incident. Despite her own injuries, Chen Linli ignored her own safety and sought help for her husband and son first. Although the two ultimately could not be saved, Chen Linli had made significant efforts to try to rescue them. Cheng Shi, as a new partner, joined Junhan Law Firm and specifically established a public interest litigation group. On her first day at the company, Wu Jun arranged a comfortable office for her, but she felt the atmosphere was tense. Wu Jun explained to Cheng Shi that ever since Cheng Yao took on Chen Linla's case, Qian Hung had been in a bad mood, frequently losing his temper, which made the employees very uneasy. Cheng Shi realized that Qian Hung truly loved Cheng Yao, and this discovery made her feel very comforted. To help Qian Hung, Cheng Shi used a business trip as an excuse and asked him to take care of Wei Jenshen. Since Qian Hung had never taken care of a puppy before, he arranged to meet Cheng Yao to seek advice.